today. Yes, it is. How you going, everyone? Hello. Back out here. Johnny's here. We've got lots of stuff. We've got crab nets in here, squid jigs on there, or fish and tackle. We we'll just come out, see what we can get, see if we can get some lunch, pretty much. So uh, enjoy it, and hopefully you'll hear some commentary of us pulling up big blueies or something here in a minute. We're not going well uh, this far. We may all weed so far, but give these pots five more minutes to soak up and see if we can get some ocean blueies while we're out here. But really hope for some squid so we can have a nice little seafood cook up today. But <laughs> it's crabbing time! <laughs> Got one. It's not, a, not off his size, but that's a good, good start. There's a crab down there. there. By the look of it, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he'll, he'll go in the net. Well, there we go. I don't think he sized. Alright, looks like a pretty original shell, I think. Nah, just under. Under? Alright. But that's a good start. They're nice and hard out here, so. Beautiful crab, Beauty. Oh, well, there we go. It was good. I could actually almost see that in the net. We got one in here, I think. Yes, we do. He might be sized. Well, that's two from two so far. That's not bad going. He's a bit small. Now, you can tell with these ocean crabs, their colours are different. Clean. They're real clean, they don't have the dark purples like they do in the river. That's a nice crab, hopefully size. Our spot could be on again, Johnny. Hopefully. Hopefully that lands in the sand. Yeah. He's a beautiful specimen of an ocean crab and he's sized. Look at that. Happy days. Well, there we go. One for the start. That's good. That's a crab in every pot so far. You notice they're not quite as purple as uh, the swanee crabs. Still bloody good. So, one for the bucket. Happy days. So, so far today, the crab king has caught the crabs, but the squid master... No squid. There's no squid. He, John, Johnny did say it himself. He's like, this is embarrassing. I haven't caught a squid yet, so... I think we have to go again to somewhere else. He's decided that we're in a terrible spot. We're going to troll somewhere else along here but hopefully we can get a couple more crabbies oh, on the next one yeah you reckon it's still too early so that's good because the crabs are early then the squid will come on the bite after them, hopefully but squid masters are not happy with the squidding at the minute squid master squid master what's happened you finally got one yeah squid master's finally on about bloody time mate got my jig out behind you mate don't lose him okay because it's the first squid yeah it's first squid of the day where's the drop oh it's scoopy we don't have the net uh oh uh oh this is, could be disastrous yes johnny ah good work mate both on the board both of us at our our trades here that's gone well good job buddy what do we got i can see the net it's got some weight to it. It's got a biggie. It's got a biggie. It's got a biggie. Yes, Johnny. Yes. Ah! Oh, no. That's a ripper. Mate, look at that monster. That's bigger than Swan River one. That is a horsey. Oh, yeah, baby. Woohoo! Crab King, Crab King. That's because the Crab King. Don't get too carried away. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the net. I can see the net, Johnny. It looks like there's something in it, yes. There is something in it. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yeah. I'm doing my crabby dance. I'm doing my crabby dance. I don't know if it's size, but I got excited anyway. Oh yeah, he's size. Yeah. 
Ah, ah, crabby dance. <laughs> ah, Johnny's got the moves. Oh yeah. Well, we moved all of our nets from here originally up that way. And now I'm thinking we're gonna move them from that way back this way. Woohoo, crabby. I can see me net. It's hard to tell, it's a bit deeper here. Um, um yes there is. <laughs> that size. Oh yeah, all right, we'll put this one back over there somewhere, Johnny. That's me old trusty net. Another crabby, another crabby dance. Oh, Johnny, we got some more crabbies, baby. Whoa, I just about fell out the boat. <laughs> oh, well, he reckons. Yeah, accidental throttle touch and stuff. Right on the edge of that weed there, mate. Where'd me crabby go? Hey size. Hey size. Hey, uh, he's as big as that other one we got, mate. Look. Who wants to see a crabby dance? If we get another one out of this next one, Johnny will do a crab dance for us. You don't get water like that uh, everywhere else in the world, I guarantee you that. It is picturesque and beautiful. Right, we're going to give these uh, pots another run because the squids aren't on yet. See, as we're pulling nets. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I forgot I had my thing out and I just got a wicked squid. Yeah, that's a good one, Johnny. Uh-oh. He's only gone technical. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, he's a good one, isn't he? Look at the size of that. That's huge. He's missing the nipper, but that's huge. Oh, so this crab, for an ocean crab, mate. Solid crab. Look at the nippers on it. Look at the power in those. Oh, yeah. That is a huge crab. Oh. Are you serious? We've only just put the squid jigs in two seconds ago. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, not huge, but he's still big enough for dinner, lunch, whatever you want. Oh uh, well, that's been a pretty good one actually. We got uh, a bunch of crabs, a bunch of squid. Wasn't expecting to get crabs out here in all honesty yet. I thought it would still be too early, but we got some anyway. So I'm gonna go home and um, cook up some squid in whatever uh, whatever random fashion I feel like today. I'm not too sure. I'll go through a couple of recipes that people have sent in and uh, get into it. See you in the kitchen. Hey, in the kitchen we are, all right. So the other day I put out a, uh, a bit of a message on my Insta and I asked everyone what their favorite squid recipes were. So we ended up with two winners. Now the first one I'm gonna to do today is a salt and pepper squid recipe, which I haven't actually done myself personally yet, but it looks really delicious. The other one is more of a mixed up herb and stuff one, which we'll do, we'll do that next time we catch some squid. But this one, salt and pepper squid, the butterfly style, some people call it Japanese flower style squid because you put little chops in them and they... Anyway, we're gonna give that a shot. So all you need for this one is a uh, regular flour, corn flour, whatever herbs and spices, chili flakes, anything like that that you want to make it salt and pepper. You can make it salt and pepper chili, salt and pepper Italian herbs, whatever you want. Obviously you need a little bit of milk to dust it in so that the pepper and your flour battery type thing sticks. Uh, other than that, you're going to need a deep fryer if you've got one. I don't have one, so I'll just use a shallow pan with a little bit of oil in there to get them cooking nice and quick. So, chop this squid up, show you how I do it. Uh, hopefully I don't make a mess because I've never done this before in my life, but we'll give it a crack anyway. And uh, see how it tastes. Like that. Open it up. Cut it in the middle again. Now 
you want to do like a little crisscross pattern into it without cutting through it. We can go the other way. I think that's right. And then we just cut it into bite sized pieces. So we go down there. Let's go there. Uh, I think that's right. I'll do the other piece, we'll get it in the pan and see how we go. So what the milk does is, I think, give something for the flour to stick to. I mean, I probably don't even need to use the milk. We'll see, I might do half of the milk, half without, and we'll see what happens. The next step we want to do is we want to mix um, some regular flour, some corn flour, obviously some pepper, some salt, and stuff like that together in a bowl. You know, whatever you want to add really, I think. I mean, nothing really matters. I'm just going to add a bunch of stuff in there with the flour and stuff, and that's going to be your coating for the squid, so. We'll mix all that up together. Shut the squid straight in. Oh yeah, cut it up like that. That was a piece without any milk. This is a piece that's been put in milk. Doesn't make much difference to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't even use milk. I'm not going to use milk for the rest of them. I'll get all these dusted up and then we'll get them in the pan. We've got a little bit of oil in the pan. Get the heat on, get it nice and hot, and then we're going to throw the dusted squid into the pan. Like always with squid, you want it nice and hot. If you're using a deep fry, you'd probably go like, I don't know, hot. I don't know what temperatures are. Uh, but basically, we're just going to chuck these in. And I think the way to do it is you put the cut side facing up, and then it should shrivel up. I don't know how it's going to work in a shallow fry pan versus like a deep fryer, but give it a shot anyway. There you go. You can see it starts to curl up when you put the crisscrosses upright. It curls up. Obviously in a deep fryer that would work a lot better because it would curl and cook the whole time. With this I'm going to have to continuously flip it to make sure that it cooks the whole lot of the squid. So if you guys are doing it with a shallow pan you've got to continuously flip it. But if you're doing it in a deep fryer mate you just drop it in there and it'll be good. So once that's cooked I'll get it out and show you what it looks like. That's pretty much done. It doesn't take long. Well, you know, you guys know what squid cooks like really, really quick. So that's pretty much done. I'm going to get it out of there, get it on my plate, and get it in my mouth. That's how it works out. You can see the little crisscrosses in it. Bloody good. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. That's good. Well, there you go. Salt and pepper squid is very easy, very quick to cook, um, and it's very delicious. That'd be good as a starter, you know. Cook that one up first and then you dish out some other sort of amazing meal afterwards. But really good, really quick, really easy. You can add any sort of salt, pepper, herbs, spices, whatever you wanted to it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Stay tuned because the next time I do a squid cook up, it's going to be a bit different, like I was saying before. It could be a little bit fancy, but we'll wait till we get to that one. So give us one of these ones. Hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, if you want to see more, Follow us on our socials, Insta, Facebook. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching, Legends. Cheers.